what is going on, people. I am here for, if you couldn't tell by the title, um, my Scream Factory slash Shout Factory collection update and pretty much going to show off what I do have in my collection. Every six months or so, I try to do something like this. The last time I did something was for, I think, the beginning of the year, possibly. Uh, but it's been a while, and I've got a bunch of stuff in. Um, the past, I'd say, month and a half or so, especially with this coronavirus, hopefully everyone is doing, you know, well. And, you know, things are starting to open back up. So life is getting somewhat back to normal. Um, but... Uh, Scream Factories had uh, sales on certain things, whether it be just a sale to have a sale or going out of print sales, which I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I think I still have more stuff coming in, but if I wait for it, uh, they even set it on their website. Uh, it might be longer of a wait and stuff for, you know, all the titles, but I'm like, I got enough in here. Let me update it and let me show you what I do have because, you know, like I said, it is quite... Uh, it's grown quite a bit in the past, I'd say, month and a half to two months. So, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show off what I got in the, um, what do you want to call it, uh, going at a print sale or just a regular sale and everything else I did have in between there. Uh, before I do get into it, again, hopefully everyone's feeling good, everyone's, you know, uh, safe and healthy and stuff. Uh, if you haven't already, close to that 1,500 subscribers, so... All you got to do is hit that little subscribe button. Uh, hit that like button at the end if you found this interesting. And of course, hit that little uh, bell button so you know when I do upload more things such as updates or uh, collections or reviews or whatever have you, unboxing, stuff like that. Uh, if you want to see more of that, if you're into movies and such, hit that subscribe button so you know maybe you'll see some movies you've never seen before and you want to check out. So anyway, uh, like I said, I got a whole bunch. I got a few in today, which I'll show off first, and then I'll show off what I did get within the past month and a half, and then I'll show you my entire collection. At one point in time, I'm going to pause the video because then I got to take everything off because right now everything's kind of uh, jambled on my bed here um, and... I got to make room for the rest. So anyway, uh, these four I did just get in the mail today. I walked uh, in from work and there was the box from Shout Factory. These are the ones that are going out of print. So I thought I'd get them now. Most of these were under 10 bucks. Um, this one I've never heard of before. Uh, Sony Boy or Sunny Boy, should I say? Maybe, uh, whatever. Uh, like I said, never... Never heard of it before. It's put out by uh, David Carradine or David Carradine's in it. Um, it's directed by Robert Martin Carroll. So, like I said, never seen it. Sunny Boy, I'm guessing. Uh, if anybody knows anything, if anybody wants a review at some point, let me know. This is Species and Species, The Awakening. So I'm guessing Species and Species 4. Uh, I do have the other species somewhere on in a different set, but when, you know, Screen Factory comes out with stuff, if you haven't, you know, checked out Screen Factory before, if you're, you know, new to them, uh, they, them, Arrow, um, uh, Vinegar Syndrome, Severn, a lot of them, they pack their, you know, titles that they get with uh, tons of special features, so uh, that's pretty much, you know, one of the reasons I do get them, plus the artwork and stuff. So that's Species 3 and Species The Awakening. Uh, this is Jeepers Creepers. I have this, like, three different ways, DVD, Blu-ray, but I never owned it on, uh, like, for Screen Factory, so I'm like, yeah, let me get it. A uh, whole bunch of, you know, new... Um, what do you want to call it, special features and stuff. Probably some of them from, you know, previous releases of it. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of new uh, commentary, a bunch of new, like, featurettes and all that stuff. So when Screen Factory puts something out, I'll get it. Uh, usually, if I, if I have the title, I really don't. Uh, but I, I'll mention many a times I got it because it looked nice or the special features or whatever that gets me. So Jeepers Creepers. And the last one I got today was an IFC Midnight. If you don't know, IFC Midnight usually uh, partners with um, Scream Factory. This one's called Intruder. Uh, don't know much about that one, but I ended up getting that. So those are the four I got today. Uh, this one I got actually got Wednesday. Uh, watched it. You know, it was 
little slower burn. The end kind of confused me a little bit. Wasn't a bad movie. It just kind of left something to, uh, to, I guess you want to call it. It could have done a little bit more. Uh, but it's called Witches in the Woods. Uh, kind of a group of friends. They get stuck in, um, in the snow and they're stuck in the middle of the winter and all this stuff. And, uh, they end up in this place where not, uh, you know, Salem with the witches, but somewhere around there, uh, like a lesser known Salem kind of deal. Um, but witches in the woods, I'm not going to really go through any of these in depth, but if you want any reviews on any of them, let me know and I'll definitely go ahead and do it. This is one of the newer ones that I added idle hands. Once I saw that they were putting out idle hands, I'm like, I got to get it because there's new interviews and stuff like that. But you can't go wrong with the old school. I did flip the uh, cover art most of the time. Screen Factory does put, you know, reversible cover art and all that stuff. But you can't go wrong with the original idle hands. So that uh, was one of the newer ones I got. This one I didn't realize was a Shout Factory. I thought it was going to be Screen Factory um, just because it is, uh, to tell you the truth, certain parts are kind of, you know... Uh, scary and all that, um, especially for the time, but um, very surprised that it is uh, Shop Factory, not Screen Factory, but that's The Incredible Melting Man. Uh, like I said, I thought as my light flickers, um, I guess it's the sign that's saying, you know, it should be Shop Factory, stop complaining, but uh, The Incredible Melting Man uh, this one is one that's uh, been out of print for a while. I got it off eBay for a decent price. Uh, some of them I saw came with the uh, like the documentary about the second movie, but this one didn't. I was kind of kind of upset. Uh, but this is Troll and Troll Two, uh, and a dual. I have both of these a couple times over. I got uh, the dual pack on DVD. I got Troll by itself. I got Troll 2 by itself. I got Troll 2 on Blu-ray. So this is, you know, a couple different, uh, my light. Oh, like I said, it was going out and then it wasn't. But anyway, Troll and Troll 2, this has been out of print for a while. Uh, and then I found some, you know, like I said, for cheaper on eBay that I know are or already went out of print. So I was like, you know, let me get them now. Uh, this is Monkey Shines. Uh, Candyman, the original one with Tony Todd. This is Phantom of the Opera with Robert England. Candyman, Farewell to the Flesh. This is one of the newer ones that came out. It's Exorcism at 60,000 feet. It's like a uh, horror comedy type movie with a zombie breakout or, or an exorcism or, you know... Um, at on a plane up in the air uh this one is cellar dweller and catacombs never owned this i always saw it but i'm like yeah you know maybe i'll hold off on it and then i heard it it's sooner or later going to go out of print so i'm like let me get it now before it goes you know astronomically high and i'm like yeah let me get it cellar dweller and catacombs uh zombie high this, uh, it's like a zombie comedy or a horror comedy at uh, high school. Uh, it came out in the uh, late 80s, uh, 87. So this one was one of those, like, you know, borderline, um, like, cheese fest, I guess you want to call it. From the trailer, it doesn't look like one, but it could be for all I know. This one is different. Vicious Lips. Don't know much about it. Picked it up because, like I said, uh... When I see Screen Factory, if they're going out of print or starting to raise up the price a little bit, I jump on it before they go, you know, astronomically high because some are going for uh, later on, I'll, you know, show you or check out my uh, most expensive Shout Factory or Screen Factory uh, Blu-rays in my collection. Uh, and then the last one is Psycho. This is with uh, Vince Vaughn. You know, the movie's not really um, that good, but, you know, I picked it up. So those are the movies that I got within the past, you know, I'd say month and a half, two months or something like that. Uh, so those were the ones that I added to my collection. Now I'm going to show off what I did originally have. Um, grew since the last video too, uh, but I'll show you what I have. First I'm going to show off my uh, box sets. 
Uh, the first one is the Amityville Horror Trilogy. Uh, this is the Amityville Horror, the Amityville 2 Possession, and Amityville 3D. I did the only I, I didn't get this for the longest time because I do have a uh, Blu-ray copy of the same series, uh, but the Blu-ray copy, uh, Blu-ray DVD copy actually comes with um, an extra disc for like special features and like behind the scenes and stuff like that. I'm surprised this one doesn't come with it, uh, but you know you can't really you know uh, fault it. But Screen Factory, like I said, if they put out something, I'm gonna get it. This is another one I had all four movies. Uh, but then the box set came out, and I'm like, eh, it looks so cool. Let me just add it. And that's Critters. Uh, I did get rid of the DVDs. Um, but it comes with Critters, Critters, the main course, Critters 3, and Critters 4. Um, of course, the third one is, what's his name's, uh, you know, film debut. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, so, yeah, of course, you have Leonardo DiCaprio in a horror movie. <clears throat> this is, you know become one of my favorite um, collections I uh, just started watching the earlier ones I already seen the uh, you know the later two but started watching the other ones and this is the fly collection I did show off this one in uh, you know a unboxing and stuff but this one comes with the fly return of the fly the curse of the fly uh, the fly and the fly too uh, this one is not the, you know, expensive, expensive one, uh, but this is, you know, up there for price, and that's the Halloween collection. This is the entire uh, Halloween through Halloween 2, um, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. It doesn't come with, you know, the, the new one uh, that came out last year or two years ago now, uh, <clears throat> but the Halloween collection. This is the It's Alive collection, the It's Alive trilogy. It's Alive, It's Alive 2, an island of the alive. Uh, for the longest time, well, not for the longest time, when I bought this thing, I thought it was basket case, um, but I was wrong. I only saw It's Alive 1, possibly the second one, don't remember it 100%, but uh, It's Alive, uh, almost like a creature type deal. Uh, this is the Larry Pheasanton collection. I think I showed this off in one of my updates. Uh, it comes with four movies, No Telling, When Dingo, The Last Winter, and Habit. I uh, checked out When Dingo. Remember watching it just because um, it had the little, uh, the youngest brother and Malcolm in the middle. So I'm like, ah, you know, let me get that. I uh, still haven't op popped this one open, but it's the Wreck Collection. Uh, Wreck, Wreck 2, Wreck 3, Genesis, and Wreck 4, Apocalypse. Um, kind of like a foreign type uh not i guess it's kind of shot on camera uh but this is the human centipede three uh the full sequence comes with the human centipede the human centipede two and the human centipede three the final sequence i uh, still haven't sat down to watch the third one don't know too too much about it i remember the first one you know they were saying how crazy it was wasn't that bad then i watched the second one and it wasn't bad per se it was like disgusting i almost didn't get through it just because of the certain scenes in it i wasn't like oh my god how scary it is it was more like what the hell am i watching kind of deal uh but yeah still haven't sat down to watch a third one this is the Omen Collection. This is another really cool looking set. Um, the L card or whatever the hell you want to call it. Kind of could be a little bit better placed on. But uh, comes with the Omen, the Omen 2, the Final Conflict, Omen 4, the Awakening, and the Omen Remake from uh, whatever, 19 uh, or 2006. Wow, that was way off. Um, but yeah, the Omen Collection. That one's pretty cool. And then the last... Uh, box set I have is the Poison Ivy collection. It's got four uh, the four movies in it. It's Poison Ivy, Poison Ivy 2, Lily, Poison Ivy 3, The New Seduction, and Poison Ivy 4. It doesn't say it, but Poison Ivy 4, uh, The Secret Society. Uh, so, of course, you know, each uh, different one. You have uh, Jamie Lee Presley, uh, Drew Barrymore, Alyssa Milano, and I don't remember who the fourth one is, to tell you the truth. Uh, and it's not um, it's not showing me, is it? Drew, um, Miriam McDonald? Is that who it is? I don't remember who the fourth one is, but that's the uh, four Poison Ivy movies. Uh, the next ones I'm going to show off is the um, Steel Books I have. I uh, got a whole bunch of them. Uh, Army of Darkness, I showed this one. This one's going for, you know, a good amount. Uh, Escape from New York. 
A lot of these I'm not even going to bother opening up because I do own them different ways. The fog I did open up, um, but a lot of these I'm just going to keep, you know, sealed, forbidden world. Like I said, a lot of these steel books are just really cool looking, so I'm not even going to bother opening them up. Uh, forbidden world, uh, Galaxy of Terror, another one that looks really, really cool. Just the way they look, I'm like, eh, I don't want to touch them. Uh, this is Halloween 2. The original Halloween 2. Uh, the Howling. Kind of, this, this one might be, you know, one of my least, least favorite ones. It looks cool somewhat. I don't know, the werewolf's a little, little off for me, but I enjoy it. Uh, Humanoids from the Deep, this one I think is really cool looking. Uh, Life Force, Vampires in Space, uh, Piranha, this is the, I'm pretty sure it's the, you know, original, not the, uh, in 1970, what, 1974, or 1978, kind of blurry, but anyway, Piranha, this is Prince of Darkness, that's the other one I opened up. Two of them I opened up, uh, but, you know, I could have could have just held off. But this one's really cool looking. And then the last one is probably the most expensive. They Live uh, with Roddy Piper. Uh, this one definitely not opening because, like I said, uh, probably one of the most rare ones out of out of the whole thing. Uh, the steel books, uh, should I say. So I'm not going to sit there and open up that one. So I'm going to pause this for right now so I can pull out all the other movies and show them. Uh, like I said, if you want reviews of any of these, uh, let me know. I'll, you know, go into further depth, depth with a lot of them because there are a lot. So give me a second. You're going to see a little click and then I'll start again. Oh my God, it's amazing as you can tell. Anyway, um... Let me get into it. These are the ones that I don't have slip covers for. Uh, the first half is going to be the IFC Midnight. I told uh, you earlier with some IFC Midnight pairs with them often. Um, so I got a whole bunch of movies from them. So let me get into it. Uh, the first one is the Axe Murders of uh, Velisca. Um, I'm going with that. Velisca. Uh, always, never, still... How many times I showed this thing off, I still have no idea how to pronounce it. But that's what we're going with. We're going with Velisca. Uh, the Abandoned. Ante Birth. Uh, Back Country. This uh, is one of the newer ones that I did get. I flipped the cover just because uh, that one looks a little bit cooler for me. But I, I flipped the uh, cover. So that's Back Country. Uh, Beyond the Gates, Bo uh, Bound to Vengeance, this one is very intense, if you're wondering, never heard it before, very intense. Uh, Cabin Fever, the remake, don't know, remake, remake, uh, don't know why they made a remake, but whatever. Darkness Rising, uh, The Devil's Candy, this also is a uh, the flip version of it. A uh, very artsy movie. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'd say definitely check it out. Uh, the Devil's Doorway. Uh, the Harvest. Hashtag Horror. Uh, I Remember You. Uh, I Trapped the Devil. Still haven't opened this one. This is one of the uh, one of the more recent ones, uh, either late last year, early this year. Uh, Killing Ground, Our House, The Pledge, Mercy, or uh, Welcome to Mercy, should I say? I was like, did I really screw up my? I, I got very close. In case you. Uh, really wanted a, a close-up of my face. You got it as I drop some of the stuff. Don't mind me. Uh, welcome to Willits. Uh, what keeps you alive? I really dug this one. Very simple, yet awesome movie kind of deal. Uh, Wormwood, another f uh, reversible cover art. Uh, different take on a zombie film. Uh, 
these are just the regular. Uh, that was all the IFC ones I had, or IFC Midnight. These are just the regular one. Animal, if you haven't seen this one, the uh, special effects are really cool on that one. Bad Moon, another uh, werewolf movie, another take, I guess you want to call it, on a werewolf movie. Uh, Cherry Falls. I get, again, if you want any, um, what do you want to call it, any further reviews, let me know. Uh, Contamination 7, supposedly what I heard, uh, not 100% sure, but supposedly Contamination Point Seven is supposed to be, um, what do you want to call it, another troll movie? Not 100% sure. I saw it somewhere, but didn't didn't think anything of it. Uh, Crawl Space. Uh, the Crush, one of the newer ones that I added to my collection. Come on now. I missed a whole bunch as I uh, as they fell over, so I do have more in the bees. Uh, the Battery, another uh, uh, zombie-type film. Uh, the Beast Within. Uh, the Bat People. Body bags. I was wondering. I'm like, why, why didn't I see this one? It's because I missed a whole bunch. The body bag or body bags. Another like anthology kind of deal. Uh, the burning with a uh, flip cover. Uh, Cage Fury, uh, like a prison type revenge type movie. Uh, Dance Macabre or Macabre, Macabre, whatever, however you pronounce it. Come on. So unprofessional I am, but you love me anyway. I hope uh, the dark half. I told you this one's going for you know pretty penny, almost like eighty bucks or something like that. Very surprised with that one. Uh, a dark song. This one isn't technically uh, the Blu-ray itself is technically not uh, Screen Factory, but it is put out by Screen Factory, so I added it to my Screen Factory. There's actually another one that I did that too. Too uh, demented. This one's actually going out of print. Um, so get it now while you can, I guess you want to call it. Uh, I got that, and then they put it out in a uh, Screen Factory or uh, Horror Pack. Uh, Disturbing Behavior, another one going out of print. <clears throat> uh, the Doctor and the Devils. Uh, Dolls, another one that's already out of print, uh, going for a pretty penny. Um, the Editor, very all-over-the-top entertaining movie, but just way too crazy. Um, the Victors. Uh, final exam from beyond everybody seems to like that one that one's not not for me uh, full moon high uh, the fun house fun house massacre I really dug this one very uh, you know it was more on the in independent side but really did enjoy it we had the uh, director Andy Palmer on the uh, Dorkening ghost house and witchery still haven't opened up that one um, Ghost Town, this one's going for like 40 to 50 bucks. Very surprised, not very surprised, but glad I have it. Uh, Ginger Snaps, the, uh, first one. I own all the DVDs, but I'm like, like I said, let me get, let me get it, because Green Factory put it out. Uh, Hell Hole, another, like, prison, I got a whole bunch of, like, prison revenge type movies kind of deal. Hemlock Grove Season 1, still haven't sat down to watch that one. Uh, Lady in White, another one, I'm... Never opened it up, and now I'm debating whether to because that one's out of print and going for a decent amount. Uh, love, uh, love at first bite and once bitten. Dual pack. Um, Motel Hell. Munchies and Munchie, which again, very one. I don't understand how the Incredible Melting Man is Shout Factory, but movies like this. Maybe because of Munchies, possibly, is somewhat of a rated R movie. I think it's rated R. But definitely Munchie, the, the second one, or whatever you want to call it, is just a weird movie. And I don't know why it's there. Uh, Naked Vengeance and Vendetta. Uh, the Nest, another horror pack. Uh, one, The People Under the Stairs. Classic. Uh, Pumpkinhead 2. This one is going for a decent, uh, decent amount. Uh, Rockula. Mm, I'll put these here for right now. Hopefully they don't fall. Uh, Saturday the 14th. 
uh, horror comedy. Uh, Scarecrows. Shark and Saw Woman's Prison Massacre. Try saying that five times fast. Uh, this is a dual pack, The Fog and The Howling. Um, this is Sleepaway Camp. This one is not going for much, but Sleepaway Camp 2 and Sleepaway Camp 3, for some reason, are going for more. Uh, I'm guessing maybe they're the ones going out of print or are out of print, should I say. But for some reason, the first one isn't going for, you know, you can still get it for kind of cheap. But the third and fourth, or third and fourth, uh, the second and third are going for a good amount. So the second one, especially if you have the slip covers, they're going for a lot. Slumber Party Massacre. Uh, Slumber Party Massacre 2 and 3. This one's going for probably out of all the movies in Screen Factories, uh, you know, uh, from what I saw. Besides, you know, the Halloween set and the uh, uh, Friday the 13th set. This one's probably going for close to the most. It's going for over a hundred bucks. Uh, the spell swamp thing. This one's going for a good amount too. Uh, I'm guessing newly out of print or possibly out of print. Uh, Terror Vision and the Video Dead. Uh, they live. I have this one open. That's why I'm not going to open the uh, steel book because, of course, why would I? Uh, the Vagrant. Uh, this one, is this the one that's going for a good amount of money? Yes, I think this one is Vampire's Kiss and High Spirits. I think that's the one that's going for, you know, close to 100 bucks as well. Uh, the Vampire Lovers. This is Virus. For the longest time, never remembered the name of this. I thought it was other movies, but finally got that one. Uh, Zombie Fight Club. What's the matter with uh, with Helen? Don't know too much about this one. Uh, Woman's Prison Massacre, another another you know prison vengeance type movie. And the last one that I have without a slipcover, and I kept it to the side because Shout Factory or Screen Factory does put it out. Uh, it is put out by Raven Banner, but Screen Factory does have a copy of this. Decided just to put it in there, and that's Baskin. Um, so those are all the ones that uh, don't have slip covers. What I'm going to do is pause it one more time and then uh, show off what I do have with slip covers. So like the ones without slip covers, I keep the IFC Midnights together and then the rest together as well. So uh, the first couple are going to be from IFC Midnight. Uh, the Autopsy of Jane Doe, a very entertaining movie, uh, like Ghost and stuff. This is the Babadook with the uh, little slip cover with the with the guy popping out or the Babadook popping out. Carnage Park. Uh, Clove Hitch Killer. Dark Summer. Uh, the Dead Room. Devil's Dolls, uh, kind of like uh, in a bayou type deal with uh, with voodoo and such. Uh, this is The Devil's Gate. Don't Knock Twice. Kind of disappointed with this one. Not a horrible movie, but thought it was going to be a little bit better. Extraterrestrial. I was told to check this one out. Still haven't checked it out. Uh, coming Kind of like a... From what I was told, is it... Um, I don't know if it's a horror comedy or not, but it, uh, the 13th Wolfman, check out his channel if you haven't already. He told me to check it out. Uh, Feral, uh, one of the newer ones that came out like uh, early last year. Uh, Ghost Stories, this is another really good one. Uh, the Hollow. Uh, Hellions, one that was in. Eh, had its promises, like I had it. The beginning I enjoyed, and then got a little weird. House on Willow Street, very fun, like, uh, you think you got them kind of deal, and then they got you. Uh, Low Life. Uh, the Midnight Man, I enjoyed this one. Like, a uh, game kind of deal. Uh, Paywhacket. 
uh, Rust Creek. Kind of like a, a kidnap type movie. Uh, Stung. Uh, the Stranger. Eli Ross, The Stranger. Uh, submerged. Trespassers. Uh, one of the newer ones, like a home invasion type movie. Uh, the Wilding. Uh, Wind. The what is it? The Wind Demons of the Prairie. Little on the slow side, but I enjoyed it. It's kind of. I don't want to say time piece either, but it, it's a little slower, but I enjoyed it. Uh, 80, uh, 68 kill. Uh, and this just starts the uh, regular Scream Factory, not the IFC Midnight Army of Frankenstein's. Uh, beneath a killer fish type movie, really fun. Uh, bite. Uh, Black Christmas, the original. Uh, Blood sucking bastards. The boy. Not to be mistaken with uh, the boy and the boy two. Uh, Camp Colebrook. This is. Uh, the director, Andy Palmer, who directed Funhouse Massacre, directed this one. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. One of the newer ones that came out. Class of 1984. I think this one's going out of print, too, uh, especially with the slipcover. That's probably one of the ones that I have a slipcover for that are, like, kind of going out of print. Cockneys versus Zombies. Uh, dark, uh, Dead Shadows. Elizabeth Harvest. The Entity, a ghost that rapes a woman. Uh, Fender Bender, I enjoyed this one. And the ex uh, like special feature, you get like a VHS, like grainy cut of the movie, really cool. Garbage Pail Kids movie, uh, went out of print, but it's not, you could still get it for a decent price. I don't know how that's in the uh, Screen Factory collection either, not that it's scary. Uh, Gravy, a fun like torture type film. Hell Knight. Uh, this is The House That Jack Built, one of the newer ones that came out a few months ago. Uh, I'll Take Your Dead, fun type movie, like a killer, a uh, tired killer and uh, ghosts and stuff. Itsy Bitsy, if you couldn't think of it, like a, uh, actually it's like an ancient type spider. Uh, the Jackals, almost like a hey, uh, new home invasion, kind of like, uh, what is it called? Uh, your Next kind of deal. Uh, the Lesson. Uh, Mermaid Lake of the Dead. Misery. The Monkey's Paw. Over Your Dead Body. Prison. Uh, Rabbit Remake, put out by the uh, Saska Sisters. I was iffy about the first like the original this one i did you know the updated version of it i enjoyed rabid by uh the saska sisters uh slasher season one uh sleepaway camp three and the last one is toolbox murders two uh, so that was my uh, Screen Factory collection. So like I said, if you want anything, any of these reviewed further in depth and stuff, if you're looking to uh, check out one of these or if you've never heard of Screen Factory before, I'd say check them out for sure. Uh, like I said, not only do they put out interesting movies, you know, some older titles, some newer titles and stuff, but they put a lot of stuff on, uh, if you're like a special features stickler like I am, uh, they put a whole bunch of stuff on there, uh, Blu-rays, so you get a whole bunch of special features and stuff. And just, you know, really cool stuff, the slip covers, the, you know, they go out of print, so you can get, you know, um, certain slip covers sell for as much as uh, a Blu-ray would uh, to begin with, so uh, that's you know, it's a, it's a collector's piece as well. So, uh, Arrow, Scream Factory, uh, Vinegar Syndrome, and stuff like that. Those are, you know, more uh, collector's editions as well. Um, 
But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you've seen some movies that you might not have heard of before and you want to check out. Again, anything you want to uh, review, let me know. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, almost to 1,500 uh, subscribers. Once I get that, I'll do a giveaway. Um, what else? Uh, check out my description uh, for all my other social media sites uh, or social media. Twitter, I got a Facebook fan page, I got an Instagram uh, where I show off the movies behind me. I got a, um, uh, what else do I have? Uh, I'm part of the dorkening, the little brain fart there. Uh, part of the dorkening we do, um, what do you want to call it? Um, interviews, uh, hour-long interviews with indie directors, producers, actors, actresses, and stuff like that. This coming week, we have uh, Rain Swart, um, and now her, I'm blanking on the name, Coco. I know I know her name's Coco. I'm blanking on it, but uh, it's the director of a movie, uh, the movie Hex, and the main actress in the movie Hex uh, from South Africa. So it's like a South African tale. Uh, so we will be having them on talking about the movie. Uh, so if you're interested, check us out this coming Tuesday. Uh, the 9th, I believe, is the uh, date. Uh, could be wrong. Uh, don't quote me on it. Uh, but we will have them on maybe the 7th. I could be lying 100%. But anyway, check us out, The Dorkening. Uh, if you're not into live podcasts where you can interact, uh, we do have a audio podcast, so you can check that out. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you want a, um, like I said, I do have Vinegar Syndrome. I got a bunch of Vinegar Syndrome. Maybe not on the horror side. There's some movie horror movies in it, but I do have my A24 collection. Again, still not don't know what a point but anyway my a24 collection is up there that's grown uh, a little bit um so i do have that i have a kino low beer if you enjoy these you know collection videos let me know i don't know why i did this uh but if you like collection videos you can check out uh like i said uh, my other videos or if you want an updated one let me know in the comments or if you want something along those these lines uh give me the like 20 likes Maybe I'll rise it. Maybe, maybe get me to 50 likes. So share it. Uh, you know, let people know I'm out here. Once I hit 50 likes on this video, I'll do something along the lines of this. Or, you know, if you don't want me to do anything, just tell me to shut up in the uh, comments. And I'll, I won't shut up, but, you know, at least I know. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. Again, stay safe. You know, it is, the world is coming back slowly but surely back to normal. And, uh, yeah, so I guess until next time, I will see you guys.